Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to export a ggplot2 plot to a file using the grid arrange function. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with lines 2 to 8 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that three new data sets appear at the top right of RStudio which are called data1, data2 and data3. And if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it, as you can see in line 11. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package to create different plots drawing our data. So if you run lines 13 to 18 of the code, three new plot objects are created using the ggplot2 package. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created three new plot objects at the top right. Now, if we want to draw these plots in a grid using the grid extra package, we also need to install and load the grid extra package, as you can see in lines 20 and 21 of the code. I have installed the grid extra package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 21. And after running this line of code, we can use the grid arrange function, as you can see in line 23. So in this case, I want to draw my three plots in three different columns and one line. So if I want to do that, I need to use the code that you can see in line 23. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom right that we have created a grid of ggplot2 plots at the bottom right in RStudio. So if we want to export this grid to our computer, to a file, then we might try to use the ggsave function, as you can see in line 25 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that at the desktop of our computer a new file was created. However, this file consists only of the very first plot of our grid. However, of course, we want to export the entire grid to a new file. And for that reason, we need to specify the grid in a new data object first, as you can see in line 27. So in this line of code, I'm applying the grid arrange function as I already did in line 23. However, this time I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called mygrid2. So if you run line 27 of the code, a new grid object is appearing at the top right, which is called mygrid2. And we can now export the entire grid of plots using the ggsave function, as you can see in line 29. So in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our grid as file name, and I'm also specifying the name of our grid that we want to export. So if you run line 29 of the code, you can see that another file has been exported to the desktop of our computer. And if we open that file, we can see that we have created a grid of plots as image file on the desktop of our computer. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to export a grid of ggplot2 plots using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.